review of this and the scopes not well it doesn't work I just got it it came on once didn't work after that so I'm gonna try to open it seems that this could power out here I'm not 100% sure when this is plugged in um, basically it goes red beeping kind of light blinking light and you press this and the LEDs here come on um, interesting design of this this yeah mini usb and the other one here so you just basically just clip something like that not too bad actually so it accepts both ways um never got it to actually work on the phone which is claims to be able to do try for problem i guess um it worked on the pc for but well the first time i put it on for about two or three minutes i didn't just it longer than that and then the second time it never came on never even took off this little strap here so yeah man not too great i'm going to try to open it up this gets warm when you plug it in which is obviously a problem so i'm going to try to open it here and see if i could figure out what went wrong with it uh, most likely you won't be able to see anything wrong but mm, might as well open it it's not good anymore i haven't opened it interestingly i've lost two of the leds uh they came off apparently they were stuck onto this front piece the glass and they prefer to stay there so right. that said this is a flexible circuit board mounted on a stainless steel backing if you look at it well maybe it's just normal steel it's chinese maybe it's normal steel um but yeah that's the gist of it and the fact that this thing gets warm is really amazing i mean for that to you know get warm in the body something is definitely really really wrong um it can't be the leds because how that's faced up and uh, when that turns in that way it, it doesn't touch and come back to the base so that entire piece of metal is getting warm clearly it's a heat sink as well as a um, you know a structural support for the um the flexible board but uh yeah this is pretty much a chip and very very few passives a couple here and one or two there nothing really to talk about so there really isn't nothing to fix on this here that it comes on it doesn't just plug it in this little chip here is getting extremely hot if it was a passive maybe i still a chance it's the actual chip um there really isn't any way i could actually replace that uh, there's some numbers on it um let me see if i can make out what it is um can't actually make it all that easily but yeah it's it's easy enough to get those numbers that said taking that off of that particular flexible board and then replacing it no not gonna happen that's not gonna happen it's never gonna happen so this is dead after much doing, I managed to fry this amazingly. This is an aluminum body extruded with a hole drilled. I guess they got them cheap for USB sticks or something, when they were this size. I don't know, strange that Chinese would do that instead of plastic. The looks like silicon rubber, I guess, button to touch onto the thing. Um, beyond that, the back end was this. And the front end, they pretty much crazy good a uh, clear thing which I prayed of. I fell somewhere. Well, um, it's a small micro here. Uh, no numbers on that one. Um, we have five little contacts here. A few passives, a transistor, resistor there, the switch. I suspect the sole purpose of this little micro is just to put on those surface mount LEDs and that transistor is just to power it and that's it and the basically little LED blinking again a function of this micro nothing too much and again nothing that could be fixed nothing here that would help me ascertain why this gets extremely hot can't be helped some quick close-up pictures of the main components and this particular picture is the flexible board um, with microchip again that's pretty visible so it's easy to read it off 
though it's nearly impossible to be able to find that chip anyway to replace that and you can replace it this is the LED arrangement and the camera in the center as you can see the two LEDs I discussed that broke off um, I guess they got stuck a little bit tighter this is the other end now of the endoscope which is the USB plug-in in um, the side with the microchip close up of the microchip and what is on it and you can see the clear you can see the white residue evidence of crazy glue being used to stick the finisher and this is the other side of the board where you can see the resistor and the side of the um, switch Q1 being the transistor and closer to the metal tab by the USB you could see the LED it isn't labeled though so yeah that's the close-ups of the components on that side and beyond that it's just a piece of wire connecting this board to that board